What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and today we're team building around Shui Specs Toxtricity. Since Dugtrio did recently get banned, then I will be testing out the team on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. I'm going to pair the Shui Specs Toxtricity with Sigilyph, and the reason for that is Toxtricity is able to very easily pressure the two best Sigilyph switchins in the tier, and those are Max Bidef Clefable and Max Bidef Mandibuzz, so we can go ahead and run Life Orb. Also, we can take advantage of a scenario against Ferrothorn where we just Volt Switch out and hit that with a Life Orb, Magic Guard, Heat Wave. And then we'll go ahead and run... I'll go Ice Beam simply because I want to be able to 2-hit KO Mandibuzz that don't have max investment. Obviously we'll go Psychic, and... On the last slot, it's really between either Dazzling Gleam or Roost. I kind of like Dazzle because it's able to pressure Tyranitar. Like, obviously we have coverage for other Pokemon that Dazzle would hit, like... Against Kamo'o, we can just Psychic, and... Obviously against Hydreigon, we could Ice Beam, but... I definitely think I want to pressure T-Tar to help out Toxtricity, so let's go ahead and have that option and just run like max HP, max, well max special attack, max speed with 4 in HP. We can do that because we don't have to worry about hazards due to Magic Guard, so I mean it does kind of give us a ground immunity for Toxtricity, but Sigilyph isn't doing anything defensively, so maybe I should consider a better ground immunity later. Regardless, what do these two struggle with? I definitely want a better way to pressure Tyranitar because, like, Dazzling Gleam is good. If they're Assault Vest, it's going to bounce off, and if they are, like, Max Bidaf, it's not going to do anything either. And that's just free rocks for them, so... Like, a Fighting type wouldn't be bad. Ideally, a Physical Attacker. Conkeldur's already in front of me on my screen. Keldeo is a Special Attacker. I could go Terrakion. Or I could even run like Rock's Bulky Kamo'o as a good response, but I kind of like Terrakion as a more offensive physical attacker, and then we can add some Bulky Rockers later if I really want to. Terrakion wouldn't really solve many defensive problems though, like Kamo'o would provide me Bulletproof, which is really good for Shadow Ball, and then that is kind of a problem so far, but we'll figure that out later. I think I go Terrakion and just run Choice Band on it. Yeah, and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and run Close Combat, Stone Edge... Earthquake and Quick Attack. So, what's really good right here is both of these Pokemon are able to pressure Toxapex, which just makes close combat more spammable. Let's go ahead and run Max Attack, Max Speed Jolly, and move on. So, I did mention some weaknesses earlier. We need a Ghost Resist, we need a Water Resist, and we need Hazards on the team because I'm not going to run Banded Rocks Trachyon. So, Regarding the Water Resist and Rocker, the two most obvious options are either Ferrothorn or Seismitoad. I kind of like Ferrothorn's ability to help out against Excadrill, simply because... If I ran like Choppleberry, I could also take on Zara, and Seismitoad just gets blown away by Grass Knot, so I think Pharaoh is better right here as the Rocker. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go Ferrothorn with like... Choppleberry, and I'm gonna run Power Rip on it, because if I can catch Toad, that's really good for both Tuxtricity and Terrakion, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll go Leech Seed, Stealth Rocks, and we'll go Body Press on last slot because one, it's really accurate, and two, it's able to pressure Drill. It's able to 2 it KO Drill. I don't think Power Up actually does with Leftovers Recovery. And then we're just gonna max out on defense because I want to have the strongest Body Press possible and go with minus Special Attack, so. That's all good. I definitely want to Ghost Resist though because Dragapult still 6 0s. I could go with the, like an offensive Ghost Resist and run like Scarf Hydreigon, or I just go Mandibuzz for the defogging option. I did mention I want a better ground immunity than Sigilyph, and both of those would be ground immunities. Sigilyph, I mean, Mandibuzz is definitely better defensively, but Hydreigon can probably get the job done too. The problem is, if I were to run like Choice Scarf Hydreigon as a Dragapult check, I would have to change the Terrakion, because I'd never go Triple Choice, that's just a bad idea having half the team be locked in. What I could do is run like Scarf Hydreigon, then go Life Orb SD Terrak with like Swords Dance over Quick Attack. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll go Life Orb on this thing. It has the same effect. It's still just the standard breaker that's able to bust past Terrakion and whatnot, or Tyranitar, but more importantly, now we can run the Scarf Hydreigon, which is really important right here. Like if I want to be aggressive, I could just hard switch this into Dragapult and like, take the Shadow Bulb and threaten it back, but I think we'll look for a better Dragapult response after this. Like, a switch in. Obviously, this can check it, but we'll go Draco, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, and U-Turn with Max Special Attack, Max Speed Timid. 
So one thing that I notice is my only real physical the offensive presence right now is Tracheon, but I think Tracheon can single-handedly carry the physical offense. Like, it's so good. Then we'll go with Four and Spadef, and we only have one team slot left, so one thing that I definitely think would benefit me here is a Fairy-type Pokemon. I did mention I want something that can take on Dragapult. If I want a Fairy-type with the Defog, the option is Togekiss. If I want Wish Support, I could go Sylveon or Clefable, and honestly, Clefable is the only option at this point. I don't think Sylveon's good at all anymore, simply because Teleport just makes Clef so much better, but I think the option right here is the Togekiss because I will be able to defog and I can run like a bulky roost set and probably be alright. Like if I ran like 164 in Spadef, I can actually take plus 2 Hydreigon Flash Cannon assuming it's not Life Orb. Then we can just go ahead and do something like this and run Timid Nature. I don't want Hustle. We're gonna go ahead and go Serene Grace with Heavy Duty Boots. And then we'll go defog like I mentioned, roost, and then... Air Slash, and obviously Flamethrower. Flamethrower is useful simply because I want to have as much fire coverage as possible to help out Toxtricity. You noticed I built the team in a way where every offensive Pokemon that's not Toxtricity is able to hit Tox- I mean, that's not Toxtricity is able to hit Ferrothorn. So we have Heat Wave here, Close Combat, Flamethrower, and Flamethrower. So we even have Body Press on this, which is able to do a decent amount, but yeah. I think that is going to be the team. Let's go ahead and play. So I have a game right here. We have full stall right away. The thing with the stall team is he gets six would by my Terrakion if I get like any damage on Quagsire. So that is definitely the goal right here. My Sigilyph can also win because I just need damage on Titar and I can force that with Toxtricity. He's also really weak to Togekiss as a whole, but we'll lead off with the... We'll go Hydreigon. I guess the Avalog like... I think I U-turned to Pharaoh. I don't think it's worth staying in, because even though this thing Spadef is like really bad, I don't think it dies. I'll go ahead and put that in their calc, but look, let's say he's a Fizz Death set. Okay, like Draco could kill, but I don't know his spread, so I'm just going to U-turn. Yeah, he stays in. Let's go Pharaoh here. He goes for Body Press. I thought for sure it would be Avalanche, but I don't know if he would Body Press again or whether he would go Hard Satu. We're gonna make the Togekiss play. I think it kind of covers both. Yeah, he goes for body press again, and we're just gonna air slash here. Like, dude, it's 60%. I'm gonna flinch this. He goes Pex. Okay, well, you probably have Toxic, right? We're gonna make the Sigilyph play, and then we're going to probably Dazzle or something. I mean, like, good double. I don't really think it gives you a whole lot, though. I'll go Pharaoh here on rocks. And then we'll make the... He goes Avalog. I thought he might go Zatu, but I kind of wanted to pressure with my own hazards there. So that's actually really good for me. He might go Corviknight now, but I'll lead sheet. Because he actually goes for spin, so this is the turn he would recover, I feel, so I'm going to go for rocks. Good Zatu play. I don't really think it gives you a whole lot, though. Like I mentioned, not a lot of these passive plays are going to do much for him. And right here, he could have Heat Wave. We'll just make the Togekiss play, and throw out our own defog and get rid of these hazards. He goes out into Toxapex. Like, I don't want to take a Toxic here. We're just going to go hard Toxicity. He burns me immediately, which is actually kind of bad, but... It's only really horrible if he has Baneful Bunker. Like, I actually really like this damage, but I wish I wasn't getting chipped down so much. That's the thing. But I think he loses to Terrakion or Sigilyph in the end. We'll go Pharaoh here on the rocks, and I'll just power up immediately. He might go Avalug again, but I think he goes Zatu. Yeah, and I'm able to get an, a decent amount of chip, not a ton. Um, what would he do here? He could just Psychic, I guess. I'll go... I'll go Togekiss and Roost. I'm not really scared of that. Does this thing get, like, Thunder Wave or something? I genuinely have no idea. He just does that again, and then goes T-Tar. If I had Dazzling Gleam right here, that would be perfect, but I don't. We're going to make the Terrakion play, and then we're going to start pressuring right now. I don't know what he wants to respond to this with. We'll find out how Fizz Def is Corviknight is, I guess. He goes to Pex, so maybe I should have Swords Danced. But, like, the thing is, I know he's not going to switch out against Terrak, so I'll go Sigilyph on that, and... Like, now I'm actually in a decent spot where I can just Dazzle the T-Tar. Dude, are you serious? Why? 
Do you think I'm like cosmic power set? I think that's what he thought. I'll dazzle anyway. <laughs> that's like max bedef. But I know he can't touch my Pharaoh. He would have shown fire punch by now had he, if he could. Yeah, I think next time I might just go for the the SD and try to kill that thing. In fact, next time might just be right now. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Dude, come here. I'm SDing on this. There's no way you sack Satu when you have packs. Should I Stone Edge? Okay, he goes Hard Quag this time. That's unfortunate, but we'll make the Pharah play on the EQ. I'm just gonna double to Sigilyph, like... I need to continue pressuring this Tyranitar, and Ice Beam can do that for me here. And he stays in and dies, so I think I win. Ice Beam coming in clutch right there. Yeah, he goes T-Tar, but I think all I need to do is force like kills with Sigilyph now, and this should be over. I can literally just go Pharaoh, and this time I can guarantee my rocks. Goes for Crunch again. I don't really care about that. Surprised you would even bother staying in, but I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Is he thinking about switching out here? Like, into who? <laughs> no, I didn't think so, yeah. And uh, we'll make the Terrakion play, and... I think I just CC immediately. He gets like every play right with this, but I don't know if it's going to matter in the end. Because I literally just go to Sigilyph, and because he's going to take a Rock Chip with T-Tar, it doesn't even matter. I just Heat Wave this. Yeah, did you see how much I just did? And I literally just Heat Wave again. As he sacks the Avalug, and he's going to get back T-Tar. So I lose my Rocks, but that shouldn't matter. I can go Toxtricity here, or I can even go Hydreigon. I kind of like Hydreigon, but Toxtricity is good too. I, don't, I definitely keep this. This is a win con. I think I go to... Togekiss is also good. Everybody's good. <laughs> we'll go Toxtricity. I don't need that. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to Overdrive. As he actually goes Quagsire. That's fine. I mean, I just didn't want that thing staying in. But yeah, I just go Togekiss here. If he's toxic, whatever. Like, he goes back to this. I'm just gonna do exactly what I wanted to do earlier and sack this off and then go and then go track. He's gonna go pack, so I'm gonna SD. Yeah, I actually got him this time. <laughs> There's no way you get that sequence of plays read that many times in a row. Get out of here. And yeah, now it should be over because all I need to do is Pressure with this and Togekiss, and I should be good. We'll make the Asigil lift play on the EQ. Just go for Dazzling Gleam. It's kind of sad how little T-Tar takes, though. Like, did you see how much it took from Dazzle earlier? It took, like, 20. <laughs> I mean, good pivots, dude. I could honestly just sack this and then probably win with T-Terrakion anyway, but I don't think I want to do that. Uh, the sack here is Hydreigon, as he goes for Heavy Slam. I guess I'll just click Draco. Actually, I don't want that thing roosting. I can Draco anyway. He goes for Heavy Slam. I, I really don't want the thing roosting, so... Okay, well, he's gonna roost it. I can get in Sigilyph, though. Yeah, maybe I should have switched out there, but I'm able to get in the Sigil Lift, which is actually really important. It was Hard Quagsire? Okay. Dude, I'm Dazzling Gleaming here. Stays in. Okay, I'll just Psychic. Actually, we're gonna spam Dazzle. Dude, this isn't going to work out for you. If you lose this, you lose to my Terak. Yeah, dude, you really shouldn't stay in. Yeah, he's going to go T-Tar eventually. So I think what I do here is throw out the Hydreigon, go Terak. Just click CC, 
and I should be fine. Yeah, like, did you see how much that just did? <laughs> that's, that's like, really dumb. Trek is just a dumb Pokemon as a whole. It's, like, insanely broken. Oh, dude, he just lost, yeah. I don't know what that play was. You should have sacked off the Quag, then gone Corviknight, but even then it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I have three attacks and you have three Pokemon that all die. <laughs> This was like a really fizz death too, but the thing is, if he sacked off the Quagsire, I'm pretty sure I would have just won with my two flying types. Actually, is that true? Had he sacked the Quagsire, then gone Corviknight, I think I might have had to switch out Track. But I, I would have been fine anyway, I just had to wait until he knocked out something with T-Tar, then get Track back in, and that would have been it. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here, um, where are you? 1478, over 200 points below me. If I lose this and I lose like 30 points to Mono Dark, that would be so sad, but I don't think I lose. I'll just go ahead and lead off with... I mean, he has another T-Tar, and T-Tar is kind of a pain, but Terrakion should just kind of 6-0. I wish I had Dazzle on my Togekiss, so that would be really good here, but I have it on Sigilyph, so maybe I can take advantage of that. He leads off with the Persian. I think it's just going to go for like Parting Shot. Yeah, I'll just, like, Overdrive. Overdrive's fine. I don't think he goes Hydreigon as the pivot. If anything, you go, like, Titar or Mandibuzz. Like, the thing I, s I say Mandibuzz, the reason I say that is because even at, like... Even when it's taking a super effective hit, it doesn't care. Uh, that's gonna take a lot, dude. Yeah, and I can just go Pharaoh here and throw up those rocks. It feels good not playing a Magic Bounce Mon. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and throw this out. Like, Body Press is decent, but I think the rocks are better. Because, like, once they get rocks up, I think Terak just kind of kills everybody. He goes back to Persian, which doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Oh, it's a helmet. Okay. Well, I mean, he can go... He, I think he's going to try to Parting Shot into the Mandibuzz, so we're going to make the Toxtricity play. Yeah, I want to keep my rocks up, so let's not let him do that. I'm just a bit worried about, like, Dragon Dance T-Tar in the end, because my Scarfer doesn't really do a whole lot against that. He goes Grim Snarl. I would lock Sludge Wave, but it probably gives T-Tar the win, so let's just get out of here. Because he sacks off the Bisharp. I think he was hoping I would Sludge Wave him, but yeah, that's not happening. Hedragon is... Actually, this was a bad play. I should have gone Terrac. Because I just invited in Mandibuzz to Defog for, like, no reason. <laughs> I'll U-turn here, because he can't Prince to Thunder Wave me, because I'm a Dark type. And uh, we'll make the play into... Into Pharaoh. On the spirit break, yeah, that's whatever. And I can like body press or I can lead sheet. Those are both good plays. I kind of like lead sheet better. Because if I can get recovery on this, that might save me against the T Tar. He's not gonna let me. Dude, I think I'm gonna lose to Dragon Dance T Tar. Which is like really lame, but. Yeah, we'll make the Terak play here. I think I have to like try to win with Terak soon, or else this is gonna go downhill very fast. So uh, there's the defog. I just want to calc how much defense he has. Mandibuzz. Okay, he's like really fizz deaf, so I have to Stone Edge. Knock it out like that, yeah. If he goes Grim Snarl, I'll just kill it. Like, that thing can't win. And like, T-Tar will die to close combat even behind Reflect, so I think I'll be fine. And like, even if it doesn't, I just needed a range of Iron Barbs, so. Out comes Persian. Um, what did this have? P taunt parting shot? I feel like it's risky to stay in, but I will. What are you giving me, dude? Like, I don't think this is good for you. Gives me the Grim Snarl. To get in what, like Hydreigon? I think I just commit to this close combating through, because if I go like Togekiss and he doubles to T-Tar at any point, I just kind of lose. Unless I can pivot in a Pokemon that doesn't give this the setup opportunity. So I think I go Pharaoh here. As it uh, turns out, he's the subset. I could Boom Burst through that, but like I mentioned, I can't let Tyranitar Dragon Dance. Yeah, I'm able to break the sub, which I think is the more important thing here. Because once the sub is gone, I just win with Terrakion now. There's nothing he can do about it. So I literally just spam Body Press until I'm dead, and Terrakion comes back in. Like, this game, in theory, should be easy, but I had to play it in a way where I never let the Terrak Tyranitar come in for free, because I was, like, kind of dumb with my Ferrothorn early game. 
I like let it get damaged and then I was like, oh shoot, Tyranitar can win. The thing is like, even if I didn't let it get damaged, Tyranitar could just win with Fire Punch and Stone Edge. I think it would need Earthquake though for my Terrakion, but yeah, this is over. I'm about to get like a whole eight points out of this game. <laughs> yeah, he gives me an attack boost. <laughs> Scarf Titar obviously won't be able to do it. I almost died there by the way, but I think if I did die, I would have just been able to go like... Actually, would I have lost? I'll be right back. So I have another game right now. We're facing Tech City and his like Noivern balance team. I definitely like Sigilyph and Toxtricity. Both of those are very good, but... Weavile is a bit of a pain here. I don't know how I want to beat that. I need to keep Pharaoh healthy or else Weavile just kind of 6 O's. so let's keep that in mind. I'll lead off with this as he actually leads with the Weavile. If he let me U-turn it right here, that would be great. I haven't seen Scarf Weavile in so long and I don't know if he would be Scarf. What does this even do for me? He has a Clef and he has a Corviknight. I'm just going to U-turn, dude. He has Scarf, so that's kind of bad for me, I guess. Um, what do I want to do about this now? We'll go Terrac and then SD up. He's gonna go to like Hippo and then I'm gonna plus two close combat it. Can this kill? I didn't even come close, okay. Well, I think I'm still fine, like, Sigilyph can do this on single-handedly. Yeah, we'll go for Ice Beam here. I do reveal my Ice Beam, but that's not the big deal. I'm just a bit worried about Weavile now because I was kind of dumb with my Hydreigon, but I can still go Pharaoh. Start to chip it down, maybe even get a Brox and do some work with that. It should be like very obvious that I'm switching out into this. Yeah, I can't stay in. <laughs> of course I ran into Scarf Weavile. I, I, that was a bad play. Like, the thing is, if I go Pharaoh turn 1, it already starts to get worn down. And then I would basically auto-lose, I think, because Weavile would just be too big of a threat later. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I'll air slash here, even though he's gonna go Corviknight. Like... I think I can win. I just gotta get mind games right. And I gotta get rocks up. That's another big thing. Let's go for Flamethrower. I can't let him U-turn for free. Yeah, he's gonna try to U-turn every time, and I can't let that happen. Yeah, I just go Pharaoh here. We know he's Scarf, so... Oh, he goes for Icicle Crash and misses. That's actually big. Let's go for Rocks. I think I lose. Like, that turn one with Hydreigon was so bad. Yeah, maybe I should have scouted. Looking at his team composition, if anything was going to be Scarf, it would be the Weavile, so that was my bad. No, I think... Can I win? Like, it depends on how lucky he gets with this and whether he can flinch me down later. Because, like, here I'm definitely going Togekiss again. Yeah, he's gonna U-turn every time. He goes Corviknight, but then I think I get Intoxtricity on the Defog and force a kill, and maybe I can do something from there. He goes to Weavile. So he's already taking switch-ins with this, which I actually really need him to, so I'm pretty happy with this. We'll go Ferrothorn here, as he doubles to Corviknight. Doesn't make a difference to me. I'm going Toxtricity. And claiming my KO. If he gives me this, the priority is rocks, like, as soon as possible. He goes to Clef, that's not taking two. I mean, Clef wasn't really doing anything for him anyway, so I kind of understand throwing it out. Wait a minute, who does he revenge with? I just realized. Weavile doesn't actually kill me. I guess Conk? Like, you could go Conk here. Do I keep this or not? Like... If I didn't keep this, I would be weaker to Weavile, but... Okay, he goes Noivern. I'm just gonna Calc Draco. Actually, no, it's not worth it. I just go Togekiss every time. There's no reason not to go Togekiss. Unless, like, Hurricane 2, it KOs me, but he has to hit two of them, which, who does that? I guess he could go, like, U-turn to 
we Val right now, and then I go Pharaoh again. Yeah, big dodge, but I think I would have been able to leech. See, the problem is he would have gotten the free conch switch, and then with conch, it's just a, con a ton of mind games, right? If I stay in on the facade, that's really good for me, but I don't think I could afford to do that, considering I need Ferrothorn for the Weavile, like we've discussed. He tries to Draco. Yeah, I can literally just flamethrower. I don't think a 2 would KO's Corviknight, because he's like insanely spit F, but if it does, I think I'm good here. Goes Conk Elder. Dude, I'm just gonna air slash this. The thing with this game is, at the end of the day, no matter how much I outplay him in the end game, I'm still probably going to get flinched down, or there's potential that I do. Which is really important to keep in mind here. He should U-turn, but he goes for Iron Head. Yeah, dude, I'm not choking away any Mon. Gives me the Corviknight. Now, I should try to get up Rox. Actually, a Rox even gonna make a difference at this point in the game? I don't think so. Goes to this, dude. I'll go to Togekiss here. Actually, is that the play? Yeah, it is. Do you trust a Draco again? <laughs> He's, like, so desperate for a choke, but I'm not gonna choke this game away, dude. Oh, he's not even locked in. What? I thought for sure he was locked in. Okay, he crits me. I'm able to get him pretty low, though, which is, I think, the more important thing. Kills me there. I go to Sigilif here, and then I click Dazzle. Kill somebody. I don't care who it is. If this dies to Draco, I lost, but it won't. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't. So now we go as Weavile. Yep, there is the Weavile. Is this actually out of range of Mach Punch? Hold up. Because I might go hard into my Pharaoh here. Sigilith against Conkelder. I don't think it is. Oh, it very much is. What? I'm underestimating like 4x resists a lot. Dude, if you double, I don't care. I think I win. Yeah, this shouldn't matter because don't I sack Toxtricity? Then go with Sigilif and then I live the Mach Punch and click Dazzle, right? Pretty sure that's the game plan here. And then it just comes down to how many times the Pharaoh. I can get flinched with the Pharaoh. So in theory, if it played out the exact same, like how I'm thinking, I would still win the game because Pharaoh would be healthy enough, but... Yeah, like, I'm not missing anything in this calc, right? Stigilift takes 11 to 14 from Mach Punch, and I win. Even a crit shouldn't do it. Okay, a crit could do it. <laughs> a crit high roll is what he needs. Okay, do I even die here? Because if I don't, then... I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. I don't know why I'm calcing. Oh, I very do. Um, yeah, I just sack this off, then go Sig... Sigilif, Sigilif Dazzle kills, right? Yeah, 77 min. Okay, don't crit. I have body press, right? Okay. So I don't even have to bother hitting power up against the Scarf Weavile. I've shown Dazzle, we should both know I'm clicking that here. Dude, don't crit me. <laughs> Come on. Like, I know I dodged, but it just would have to be one less flinch you got in this sort of situation. He could have played it differently, though. Like, maybe. Yeah, he tries to go off the choke, but that's not happening. And now all I have to do is psychic it. Like, I don't even have to go for Dazzle. I would never psychic there. If he crits me, I still lose. I think. I do have the chapel power, but I don't think that would be enough. Yeah, and he didn't crit me right there, so I'm able to Psychic and pick up the win. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. Timid Sigilif with a Dazzling Gleam and Ice Beam can actually do a lot of work this game, so I'm going to try to take advantage of that. He also just doesn't respond to Boom Burst from Toxtricity very well. Is something else I'm noticing, but it's not necessarily free. I need to be smart, so let's go ahead and lead Hydreigon. So against Clef, obviously, I don't want to be here, so let's go ahead and U-turn. If he's T-Wave, I want to go like Toxtricity instead of Togekiss, but... 
Like, even Togekiss isn't doing very much for me, that's the thing. I don't want to go Toxtricity and get dropped, so yeah, we'll go Togekiss. As he just teleports immediately, that's a good play. Because he gets in Kyurem now, and I don't have a switch into Kyurem. Unless he thinks I'm Scarf. Oh, I think he thinks I'm Scarf, that's why he made that play. Okay, I don't know what this wants to do. I don't really have a good option here, so we'll go ahead, Dragon. I, I don't think I'm playing smart around T-Wave, but... Okay, we're gonna go Toxtricity on the Teleport, and, um... Do I just straight up die to Kyurem? He goes Drill, okay. We're gonna make the... the Pharaoh play, and hopefully I can get a Brox. The thing is, like, if I lose this, then... If I lose Pharaoh, I just straight up lose to this, so is that even smart? I could be aggressive here and go, like, a Sigilyph, but I don't think that's too good. Uh, this is actually really bad. Like, I, if Ferrothorn takes too much damage, I'm going to lose to Drill, so... Uh, we're gonna be a bit reckless and go Sigilyph, I think. Okay, he earthquaked. Really good for me there. That's, like, really scary, but... Yeah, I'll Ice Beam. As he goes met 47. Dude, that's sad. Um, how much- is that a roll? Like, how much is he supposed to take? Oh, that was a higher roll. And that's not even max Pedef. Should I just Ice Beam again? I feel like I can. He goes to Clef. Like, I can just spam Psychic against this. He goes for Wish, like... Mm. Okay, we're gonna go Pharaoh here. And get up rocks. This thing shouldn't have fire move, it should be Moonblast, and... Yeah, he's gonna go back to this, but this allows me to get into Rakion and actually, actually Toxtricity and make something happen. Like, this right here is amazing. Let me just check how much my Boom Burst actually does. Okay, it does 2 at KO Max Pedaf, that's the important thing. Oh, dude, this is amazing, I love this. And, I think... Right here, do I go Heart Sigilyph again? He's gonna spin, I think, so let's go to this. Yeah, this thing getting so low is, like, really good. I think the best play right here is just a body press immediately, because if he SDs, I'm risking the game. Actually, not really, because I have... I live the plus two hit, and I still have Scarf Hydra on. He's gonna take damage, okay. Maybe I'm being careless. No, I don't think I am. I can lead sheet here and get some recovery, and then go from there. Like, this right here is really good for me. And I think I just spam Leech Sheet and get as much health back as I can with this. Please hit. He should go Clef. Yeah, because he needs to minimize recovery. That's his goal. Whenever that drill is in, I need to attack it. Because if I don't, then it's going to set up an SD and sweep me. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, right here, I like Hard Sigilif a lot. As he gets a wish up, uh, I can't let him pass that to either the Amanda Buds or the Drill, so I'm gonna Ice Beam. If he goes Rotom, I don't care. Like, whatever, dude. Oh, he's gonna teleport it into Drill? That's really bad. Wait, I have Heat Wave. Dude, you're so dead if you stay in. You should switch. Goes back to Clef. I'll just Psychic this. Goes right for Wish. He's going to protect here, so let's go Toxtricity. And just start throwing off Boom Bursts. And I think I finally actually got a kill with this, which is really nice. But yeah, I got to be really mindful of that Drill, dude. Like, Drill, because my Pharaoh actually took damage because I was a bit careless, might be a bit of an issue. I had the chance to kill it, and I didn't kill it, which was really bad of me. Like, I don't know why I did that. Dude, you can't stall these, I don't think. Like, you're gonna get crit on one of these turns, and you're gonna be pretty sad about it. Okay, he goes hard drill. We're gonna go ahead Dragon this time. Because he goes for Earthquake, perfect. And my best play is just to go for Flamethrower. I'm not, I'm not gonna miss another opportunity to kill the drill. Yeah, now it should be over. He goes Mandibuzz. I can just go Toxter City and Pressure. Yeah, I literally just click Boom Burst. Goes for U-turn. He's gonna bring out Kyurem, so... The thing with now is I can just sack the Pharaoh. I don't need it anymore. Yeah, dude, kill me, whatever. Yep, down, down I go. 
Let's go track here and just close combat, I think. On the hippo. It doesn't take too much, but the point is I can get in Sigilyph on it. And continue to spam Ice Beam. Or actually, I might Psychic. He goes for rocks of his own. Okay, now I'm gonna Ice Beam. I even freeze Clef, but I think it was over. Like, Toxtricity plus Terrakion just kind of won. He's, he's able to get Thaw, so, I mean... I don't know if you he, he should have wished there, if anything, though. I don't know why he didn't. <laughs> like, who comes in here? Kyurem doesn't come in. It'll die. <laughs> yeah, Rotom's a good play. Can't I just Psychic this, too, and just win the game right now? I think I can. Oh, it's Scarf. Okay, never mind. Good info. I'll Dazzle here, because it covers both Rotom and the Manda Buzz. He should just leave this in, yeah. I'm able to kill that. Uh, the best play right here is to go something that doesn't allow the Clefable to recover. And I think Togekiss fits that role quite nicely. Because yeah, you see with that spit F, I don't even care about Volt Switch very much. And yeah, now all I have to do is play it to where I can just spam Psychic with Sigilyph, so... The best sack right here is my... It's actually my Togekiss, right? It's either that or Hydreigon. Hydreigon's kind of good though, because that outspeeds the, the Rotom, so... Yeah, I'll throw this out, then go Sigil of here, and uh, let me just make sure Psychic is doing the damage that I need it to. Okay, I actually have to Dazzle. I'm able to kill the Kyurem, go Zerotum here. Yeah, I think he's going to try to Hydro Pump into Toxtricity, but I'm never going to let that happen. Yeah, he tried to Hydro Pump, hoping I went Toxtricity, I think. And my best play here is to Flamethrower. This is fine. I, if, I, if you give me this, the game's over anyway. And the point is Clef is going to get to it KO'd by Flamethrower, whereas I don't think Dark Pulse would. Okay, that's going to dodge the to it KO, apparently. We're going to go Sigilyph. Hit this up with the Ice Beam. Your own Sand might mess you up here, dude. Gives me Hydreigon. I don't like that. Let's kill that, but then I have to keep this in the back for that Rotom. Yeah, so I can just go Toxtricity here. A good Teleport doesn't make a difference, though. Actually, don't I just live? Yeah, if I just live right here, that's the play. Tox against Rotom Wash. I'll Calc Modest. If he crits me, I guess I lose. Okay, he could kill me. Probably not, though. Yeah, that did nothing. <laughs> okay, GG. And um, I think we'll get one more after this, because so that was only four games, I think. We had some long games this video. It's because these teams are so fat. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. My opponent has a very standard balance team with Terrakion. I actually have to be very careful about Terrakion. That thing is a big problem, as is Drill. So let's keep that all in mind. I have the Chopple Pharaoh, but I can't use it for both, and I need it for both. So this might just be an L, looking at it. I mean, my own Terrak is actually pretty good, but he has Hippo, which makes it a bit harder. We'll go Sigilyph here. Against Clef. If he's T-Wave, that actually is really bad, but I don't think I can afford to... Like, I could go Toxtricity, but I don't want him getting momentum with Teleport. Yeah, I think Psychic is fine. He uses Life Orb, okay. I don't have Roost or any way to recover this. That's pretty horrible. Because I just put myself in range of Quick Attack, and that's pretty concerning. Dude, are, are we serious? That, that was dead. <laughs> That's actually really annoying. Like, my Toxtricity would have just clicked Overdrive. Well, not really. We'll go to Track, though. If he's Protect, that's actually pretty bad for me here. Hard Age Slash. Yeah, I think I already lost. Okay, I'm able to get that play right. We'll U-turn here on the Clef, but... Dude, that thing should be so dead. The Pharaoh. Does, like, Crit... Boom Burst kill this support on? I don't know what people run. Like, I've seen a lot of max investment. 
Okay, it's probably a smooth rock, right? We're just gonna hope this kills, like, whatever, dude. Okay, I cleared him, nice. Drill against Pharaoh is the play here. He goes for Iron Head, that's really good. Yeah, I think I'll just body press and knock it out. This guy's throwing. I think I still lose though because of how big of a problem Terrakion is. <laughs> maybe not, like maybe my maybe my Hydreigon can take it on. I'll just throw this here to try to get a Brox, but it's obviously not happening. 240, 249, I can go to this here. Yeah, and the play is always overdrive. This is where like the, the Ferrothorn being dead would be so big, but it's not. Yeah. I guess he could have done that anyway, to be fair, but we'll go track here, click Earthquake. Surprised he would bother to do that, considering I could have easily sword stanced on you, but here we are. Then he goes to this. I'll just close combat into that. Knock it out. I think I lose. I don't know, like it depends on what the- oh, okay, this dies. Okay, if I hit right here, that's big. Do I win? Maybe. Because I go Togekiss, right? Yeah, as he goes for close combat, and then I just air slash. This dies to flamethrower. He's gonna switch back. But- oh, I burnt it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just stand. He's able to stone edge. I literally just go track here, earthquake. Oh, wait a minute, is my Hydreigon gonna die? I think I was careless. Okay, well, it looks like he wasn't Scarf, so... That's gonna be the 5 and alive. I think... Like, I was a bit on tilt in that last game simply because I... Missed the heat wave, but... I, I think I did almost throw at the end. I should have actually kept the... The Togekiss and sacked off Turak, I think, but... The thing is, like, because he wasn't actually Scarf Turak in the end, which I don't know if I ever saw, I wasn't really paying much attention. As long as I hit the Draco, I still should have been fine in theory, but yeah, that's going to be the live. I did hope you all enjoyed. You can find the team down below in the description, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.